If somebody asked you to describe your illness, what would you say? I would say it's a... Well, I don't know how exactly I phrase it, but I would use certain words. So I'd use genetic because it's something I get from both my parents. It's inherited. Um, it's long term, so I've had it my entire life. And so far there's no cure for it, so I'm going to have it for the rest of my life. Um, I would say it's it's one that gets worse as you get older. It's annoying <laughs> on a personal matter. If we're forgetting the scientific terms, it's annoying, but it also is what makes me me. So oh, it's basically a condition that <clears throat> everyone has mucus in their body, and they have it naturally in their lining of their. Um, lungs but when you have cystic fibrosis the mucus you, produ you produce more of it and it's really sticky and so therefore you're able to get infections quicker um, and more often and that's you know in terms of the lung problems but it's also a problem with like so many different areas of your body like for men there's like infertility there's like liver problems, pancreas problems, bowel problems, you know, problems with diet, you know, there can be like, you know, CF related diabetes, there's so many different things and it really depends on the person. Much most people, when they think of disability, they think of the physical disabilities. They think of someone in a wheelchair, they think of someone missing a limb. Um, so, medical conditions like someone who has a medical condition that isn't obvious, um, like hearing impaired people, technically, you have a disability because you struggle with hearing, but it's not what you think in the traditional sense because it's not always obvious. The average life expectancy for someone with I don't want to answer that question if I'm being honest. Okay. I do like thinking about that. I think that having cystic fibrosis affects me mentally because like, it can feel a little bit lonely but it's kind of hard to go into without getting too upset. Um, I think because I have a cystic fibrosis, I have CF, um, which is not something a lot of people with CF have and she knows what I'm going through. so. I'm looking that aspect, but I don't think it'd be the same for a lot of people. Well, technically, people with cystic fibrosis aren't supposed to mix, um, and that was something that was kind of almost an unwritten rule, but it was a few years ago, it was sort of formally announced. So I was lucky enough that I was born before that, so I have a friend who has CF and we're the same age and sometimes we chat about like like health problems like oh yeah hospital and we have the same like doctors and nurses who go to the same clinic so we can talk about them in that way. And also I've got my sister as well. Um so we can obviously talk about things. So I think in that aspect, again yeah, I'm I'm lucky because I've got people but it's literally just like those sort of two people. There's no one else really, so it can be quite alienating. Okay. My CF is, it's an invisible illness. 